thank you, Tim, for inviting me to speak. Um, he called last night. I'll do anything for that man, right? Uh, hi, Mark. It's good to see you. Ivan, when we when we hit a room together, it's going to be like crazy. I could just tell our energy and Derek and all of you. Oh, my gosh. I can't I can't wait for that. OK, so I have two versions of talks that I can give you, but I'm going to need you to select which one you want me to give you. OK, the, there's two. So let me describe them both. Open up your chats because we're going to need to see your answers in the chat room. OK, the first version of the talk is kind of the lovey-dovey. You're going to feel really motivated afterwards. You're like, oh, my gosh, I am just fired up and I feel so good about Live Good and it's going to be a great day. And the second talk, you're going to feel motivated, but you're going to be like, whoa, okay, she made me look in the mirror, but now I really, I really know the truth about what it's going to take. Okay, so we're going to call the first talk the giraffe talk, and you're going to put giraffe if you want giraffe. The second talk is rhino. Rhino is the second talk, so I need to know which one you want. The giraffe's just kind of out in the out in the Serengeti, just eating the leaves all day and the rhino is charging forward. Which one do you want? I need to hear which one. Okay, let me see. Let me see which ones you want. Oh, rhino. Can you imagine if someone was like, I, I, will, I will take the giraffe, please. Okay, all right, all right, here we go. I come in love, but we've got to channel our inner rhinoceros, okay? We have got to channel our inner rhinoceros. After today, you will never think of rhinos the same. I have a rhino here on my bookshelf, and you'll see why after, after today. There is a book called Rhinoceros Success, and I'm just going to read you the first paragraph that's going to tee up what we're doing here. But before I do, I want you, first of all, everyone mute. I don't have the ability to mute anybody. So please mute yourself right now if you haven't. Okay. I want you to imagine it's January 2025. So it's a year from now. Ben Glincy told us on Friday's call, the goal this year is that every single person in the United States will know of Live Good. And right after that, the goal is everyone in the United in the world will know of Live Good. Okay. If that's gonna be the case, which it is, because Ben Glinsky said so, and when he says he's going to do something, it happens, right? That's how successful people move. Okay. So imagine a year from now. You're going around and you're saying, have you heard of Live Good? Have you have, do you have a membership in Live Good? Put in the chat what you think is going to happen a year from now. You know what's going to happen. You have a crystal ball. You have the data and the track record and the proof. The proof. We know what will be the case a year from now. Yep, they're going to say, oh, I'm already in. Oh, of course I'm heard of Live Good. I want you to understand that's the reality that's coming, okay? If any of you have been here as long as Tim, then at most you've been here a year, okay? We are all launching this company. The launch is not over. When businesses launch, you're launching for the first one to five years. So that when anyone would ask me, what's new, Dr. Aaron, I would say I'm helping launch the world's biggest, fastest growing wholesale buyers club on the planet. It's live good. Have you heard of it? That will be what comes out of my mouth on an airplane for the next five years. If someone sits next to me and says, what do you do? I am launching and it's going to be silly a couple of years from now because they're all going to be like, Oh, of course. Well, yeah, we've heard of Live Good. We're in Live Good. You need to create a sense of urgency. High performers, the most successful, happiest people on the planet have what's called necessity. I want you to dig down right now and ask yourself, why must, why must I share Live Good? Why must 
I do what I say I'm going to do. And please put that in the chat. And I want to hear in the chat, who's depending on you? Who's counting on you to play on your A game? Maybe it's yourself. Maybe it's your dream. Maybe it's God. Maybe it's your family. I want you to name the people that are saying, you know, great. Go and do what you say you're going to do. Because what you need for the next year, beautiful, Janet, my me, then my son and grandsons, they're counting on you. Do what you need to do to keep them in the, in the dashboard of your mind, on the windshield of your brain, where you are thinking about them every single day. Okay, so we've got to raise necessity. And I'm giving you the gift of necessity by really thinking through where this is going to be a year from now. This is the year you build live good. This is it. You're, you're going to be kicking yourself if you don't, because the people will know about live good and they'll be in live good. Okay. So let me read to you rhinoceros success. Don't be a cow. Cows watch life go by, safe in the certainty that the risk and the noise are not for them. Cows cower before the face of bad news, bad markets, and the bears and bulls of life. You don't want to be a cow. You want to be a rhinoceros. You want to be a three-ton rhinoceros, a hard-charging, snorting, furious rhinoceros running full speed into opportunities and trampling every obstacle that stands in your way. Fueled by confidence and eager for success, rhinos charge through life. Success is theirs. And with this book, it will be yours too. Go get the life you want, be a rhinoceros and charge. Charge massively, charge often, above all, charge. We are going to channel our inner rhinoceros. The first thing I want to ask you is, I want you to do an inventory of the questions I'm asking you, okay? Because you know the answers and you know the way for yourself. I am the tour guide that just helps you get there, okay? Unless you are brand new, some of the answers to this, if you are brand new, like this is your first Saturday call and you're like, just show me the way, you could possibly answer these questions with, I just didn't know. But if you've been around, you don't get to say that, okay? So I want to ask you first, are you on every single Friday Firestarter call? And if not, are you watching the replay? That, my friends, is your meeting with the CEO every week. Okay. If you're not on these calls, maybe you say, I just didn't know. I just didn't know it was that important. Well, now you know. And when you bring on new affiliates, you say you've got one business meeting a week. We, we meet with the CEO Fridays and we hear what the updates are. This is your business. This is where you're hearing. I don't come up with all these great ideas on my own. I get on every one of those calls and I, I'm listening. I'm listening for the statistic of how I'm going to market. I'm listening for all the things. None of us knew how to do live good before we learned how to do live good. Like we, none of us knew this stuff. Okay. I didn't know this stuff. So first and foremost, are you coming to your weekly business meeting? This would be your second weekly business meeting, this team call, right? That's it. Those are your two hours a week that you learn what's new in your business. Okay. You want to duplicate that. When people ask me, well, what, when is the product coming? Go listen to the call. You guys, I didn't used to be this kind of leader. I'm becoming kind of a rhino leader. Like, I'm just like, um, no, you got to go listen to the call. Like, what's in the products? I don't know. Go look at the product sheet. I, you've got to duplicate what you want to be duplicated. Like, you have to represent that. You do not want to raise up codependent team members. You want them to need you. Never. You want them to say, I, 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 I'm good. 
as fast as possible. As fast as possible. Okay. So that's the first question. I'm going to walk you through the five steps of every marketing funnel and in any business. And it, I'll show you how it uh, relates to live good. So I want you to rate yourself on these five steps. I call them five to thrive. This is all you'll ever need to know. This is what I train my clients that pay me $1,000 to train them this. This is what I train Microsoft, Facebook. This is it. The business is the same every time. Business is science. It's not a mystery. Business is the same every time. So rate yourself on these five steps and how you're doing them in Live Good. The first step is conversation. Okay. Put another way, this means talking to humans about live good. This means, hey, Janet, how are you doing? I hope you're having a beautiful, you know, happy new year. Thanks so much for ordering my journal. I love you so much. Oh my gosh. Have you heard of live good? Do you have a live good membership? That's all it looks like. You've heard this before, unless you're new, you know, this is what we do here. So now I need you to ask yourself, why am I not doing that? I want you to share with us, if you're willing, in the chat, why am I not talking to the humans? That is my job description. The person who talks to the most amount of humans wins. I don't post and pray. None of us are going to post and pray. We're not posting on social media and waiting for people to reach out to us. Out of the 126 people I've personally sponsored, maybe two have said, okay, I'm ready to do whatever you're talking about. I, I reach out to them. It's There's no way around it. Stop trying to get around it. I would lead one day live events. And there was hundred people in the room and 96, I had them raise their hand. 96 of them said, I'm here because you personally invited me. I saw all your invitations. I thought it looked like a cool event, but then you came and said, I want you at my event. You're going to love it. I want you there. And I bought a ticket. The same is true for live good. The same is true. Okay. Social anxiety. Thank you, Joel, so much. Thank you. Bre freezing up fear of not knowing what to say. So Janet, now you get to say to your brain, that's not true. That's a flipping lie. I know exactly what to say. I was just told what to say. Okay. Okay. If you're a hermit, the way you become less anxious is you go and do the things that cause you anxiety. This is the worst news a psychologist could give you, but it's the truth. This is the worst news. I am here to tell you, you, you very rarely are going to be able to think your way out of your thinking problems. Write that down. It's, it's kind of crazy research because I'm a talk therapist. Okay. I get paid to listen to people's thoughts and change their thoughts. And the number one thing that changes our thoughts is behavior. I used to, my number one fear was speaking in graduate school. The goal was to get Aaron to speak. They didn't even care what I said. That's how low the bar was. Okay. If a, if a class had participation, I was screwed. I fainted on internship because they asked me to talk. I am now a professional international keynote speaker where the most fun thing I do is speak. You can change your brain, but you have to do the thing. The only way I got out of my fear of speaking was speaking. The only way you're going to get out of freeze is move. Here, write this down. Anxiety hates a plan. Anxiety hates movement. Anxiety hates action. And anxiety cannot thrive when you are brave. Brave means you're afraid. It requires it. So the, that's all we can say. You've, you've got to, you've got to decide whether or not you want to change that. You've got to. Conversation. Do you have a live good membership? Hey, you have a live good membership right now. Don't you? You're, you're, you must be in live good. I mean, you're a superstar internet marketer. You, you've got a spot in live good, right? I mean, you strike me as a really, really smart person. Like, and you're, killing it on social media. You're a network marketing professional. You've got a spot and live good, right? 
love it. That's all you got to do. And, and when you're having conversations with humans, start with a genuine compliment and hashtag don't be weird. Just be cool. Don't be weird. Just be cool. Just be you. Just be you is what I mean. If you would never say hashtag don't be weird, don't ever say that. If you would never say, oh my gosh, Ivan, if when we see each other, it's going to be a freak out. Don't ever say that. But I say, I'm just be you. Just be you. Okay. Conversation. We got it. That's it. That's it. It was so great to see you, Uncle Uncle Joe, at Christmas. We didn't get a chance to talk about Live Good. I, I want you to take a look at Live Good. Stop making this difficult. I know you know it's not difficult. I know you know that you're in your own way. I know you know that that part is what is difficult. I know you know that. Because there's no secrets that we just gave you all the secrets. That's all I'm doing. I need you to look at a five minute video. Trust me. If you're bold enough to say it that way, that's what I would suggest saying. I enrolled 33 people my first three days because I said, you need to look at this. I'm going to go tell everyone I know. We can bless a lot of people together here. Look at this and then lock in your spot. Why can't you just, why can't you just like, muster up that took like four seconds and just say that just say it as if you believe it and you're gonna believe it then like you're gonna believe it okay okay the second step is invitation so we've said hi hi mark oh my gosh have you heard of live good that's conversation your conversation it's actually the question okay invitation he's like yeah i do i do. or no i haven't or oh my gosh i, I think i've heard of it but invitation oh my gosh what are we inviting them to, everybody? Sure. Sure. Oh, I love it. I can read your lips. You're all like, <laughs> I saw Mark tour. <laughs> okay. Yes, Vicki, the tour. That's it. That's it. They've done all the heavy lifting for us. Okay. Okay. Great. I, you have it. Okay, great. I want you to take a look at this. You guys just send it over. I'm done with the like, do you want to take a look at this? No. Okay. Here, I'm sending you over a five minute video. And take a look at it. And then this is key, you guys. Don't miss this piece. This is gold. I'm going to, uh, I'll circle back with you later tonight or tomorrow to see what excites you the most about what you see. Let them know what that is called as you're seeding the follow up. And what you just did there was you told them, I'm expecting you to watch it. And I'm going to do what I say I'm going to do, which is follow up with you tomorrow. And the moment you do that, you psychologically change everything from going from convincing them or asking them to do anything to you being a woman and a man of your word and being a professional that says what they're going to do and you're following up. Tell me how much you love that. You're never going to have to chase anyone ever again because you've set up what you're going to do. Thank you for who has ever writing that, that note. Okay, awesome. I'm going to send you over a five-minute video. Take a look at it. I'll circle back with you tomorrow. I can't wait to hear what excites you about this video. Bye. Can you hear the excitement in my voice? I just created that. I'm just, I'm not prospecting anyone right now. You know this. Can you like charge, have some rhino energy and be like, awesome. I'm going to, okay, great. I'm going to, I'll circle back with you tomorrow. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to hear what excites you about this. Do that over and over and over. All right. The third step is presentation. The presentation was the link, the tour link. So presentations are tools. Presentations can be how you share what you're sharing. But I think generally speaking, we're all talking about the tour, okay? Um, a presentation could also be, well, now you have a question about the presentation. Okay, 
um, maybe this could go into follow up the next step, but maybe you put someone in a three way chat and be like, hey, this is my friend um, Jenny and Jenny watched the tour and she's excited, but she had a question about this and I thought I'd bring you in because you've been here so long and you're a top leader in the company and you're just edifying the heck out of me, not because I need it, but because I'm going to close that person because they're going to have social proof. Okay, so presentation could be um, also could be like a three way chat or of course it could be a zoom but like I, I just no thank you. Okay, so we'll do the tour video all day long. Okay. Um, okay, so the fourth step is follow up. So we've already set up follow up. So you're following up and you're saying hey. Hope you're doing great. Happy Thursday. All right. I'm circling back like I said I would. And I am, I'm dying to hear what excited you. And they're going to say, oh my, we're going to say what they say. They're going to say what they're excited about, or they're going to say, oh my gosh, I didn't get to it. No problem. I can circle back with you tomorrow. I'll circle back with you tomorrow. Okay. I'll circle back with you tomorrow. You watch the five minutes and then you do what you say you're going to do. And you circle back tomorrow. And you're not weird and you're not pestering them. You're doing what you said you're going to do. And most of the time they're expecting you to, and they're wanting you to, they're like, oh my gosh, sorry. I didn't, I didn't have time to watch it. No problem. Life gets busy. I'll circle back with you tomorrow. Okay. Go watch the video today. Talk to you tomorrow. Hey, and then it's the next day. Hey, it's Dr. Aaron. All right. Tell me what you're excited about. Notice I'm never, I'm never asking, what did you think? Do not ever ask, what did you think? The psychology of that sets people up to be, um, no one wants to be an easy sale. No one wants to be an easy, cheap date, okay? No one wants to appear stupid. No one wants to be, you know, no. What do we want as humans? We want to appear like we're very smart and we're very thoughtful and discerning. And, you know, so what do you think sets people up to be critical? I don't care what they think. I want to know, are they excited or not? And any question they have about it means they're excited. Any question that they have about it means they're interested. Yes, Ivan, it's all the power of positive suggestion. This is sales. This is expert level sales. Okay, now this is the line in, okay, okay. So follow up, you know, if people have questions, again, put them in a three-way or, or if they have questions about the products, you say, oh my gosh, the cool thing here is we have these product educators that do um, all of this for us. I don't have to know anything about the products other than, the 18 certifications they all have, you know, um, and I can show you that. Joe, can you please mute yourself? Thank you, Joe. Um, you know, so I point to the tools. I point to those things because they're going to duplicate what you did. And if you show that you're a product expert, then they think, no, I could never do that. I mean, and they're going to have 200 product products. That sounds like a J-O-B to me. No, I, let the science do the heavy lifting. Can you let the science do the heavy lifting? I don't know at what latitude the coffee beans were Man, I closed up. fertilized by, you know, who knows what? I don't know. No, that's above my pay grade. Okay, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Okay. So you're going to follow up and maybe Joe Washington, I don't know if you can hear me. Can you mute yourself? Um, thank you. So I don't know. Okay, I usually go maybe four days of follow up if I don't hear from them, which is just odd because that would be odd, right? If they already said like, sure, send me the link. Anyways, okay. So the fourth day, I might say, "Hi, it's Dr. Aaron, your personal stalker." All right, it's getting fun now. It's four days in. I get it. Life's busy. Would you like um, Would you like me to take you off my follow up list, or would you like me to to circle back tomorrow? Would you like me to take you off my follow up list? People don't want to be taken off a list. You'll hear You'll hear back from so many at that level of like, oh no no no, don't take me off the list. I've been 
I, my, my mother's been in the hospital all week, Aaron, actually is why I haven't been responding to you. I mean, okay. It, 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 you never, you never know, but you just, would you like me to take you off the list? If you want to use this line, I also use this line. I say, okay, I'll tell you what, Corey, I, I'm not in the, I'm not in the convincing business, but I am in the follow-up business because I, I really am excited about what, what I'm showing people. I'm really excited about this. I'm not, I'm not in the convincing business, but I am in the follow-up business. So you tell me, do you want me to take you off my follow-up list? I happily will. Um, if you don't let me know and I'll circle back with you tomorrow. Okay. So let me know. Bye. Pro tip. I'm always ending with a question, which is a task for them to do. It's a tag. You're it tag. You're it. I'm not saying so. Just letting you know, I'll take you off my follow-up list if you want me to. All right, bye. Have a good day. No, I'm I'm ending with a question. Would you like me to? Let me know. All right, bye. Good night, Josie. I think you're getting paid now. Oh, poor Joe. <laughs> poor Joe Washington. Uh, um, okay. So follow up. The last good. step is collect a decision. Otherwise known as closing the sale. Closing a sale is opening the door. A closing is an opening. Closing the sale is like, great, now we can get started. Closing is actually the opening. So don't don't change your mindset about closing a sale. Closing a sale is the greatest gift you can give someone because they're opening their door to their opportunity. It's like, great, now we can get going. Okay, so collect a decision. Here is the power of suggestion like Ivan is talking about here. This is the question. You're going to give humans two options. And humans want to choose the easy option. So just know that. So let me give you the, what you're going to say. The two is, this is what you're saying. So Ivan, are you thinking you want to be a member or an affiliate? The power of affiliate. <laughs> affiliate. He says affiliate. The power of suggestion. I'm not asking, so do you want to do this? Do you, no, it's which one do you want to be? I'm assuming, mm -hmm. I'm going to assume everything, but what are you thinking? Do you think you want to start out as a member for the 995 or an affiliate and make some money too? Like what, which one are you thinking? And they'll tell you, and then you'll celebrate it and it'll be great. Awesome. Here's the link. Go and sign up. When you sign up, I'll receive an email that tells me you've signed up. And after you've signed up, if they're an affiliate, I'll send you our simple but super powerful duplication system for success. I'll say that again. Great, Ivan. Okay, so what you're going to do, go complete your enrollment here. And after you do, I'm going to get an email that says Ivan's enrolled. And that will let me know that you're in. And then when I see that email, I'll send you our super powerful, simple, duplicatable system for success. I'm so excited you're joining. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Can we do this? Everybody, zero to 10. 10 is I can do this. I want to see. Can you do this? Can you study today's call and write down in? Okay, great. Wow. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. We're going to be, we're going to be like the rhino revolutionaries. Like we are going to be the rhinos of live good. Do not. I tell this to every business coaching client I have. Do not waste your launch. Whether you're writing a book, whether you're launching some a class, whether you're launching a company in network marketing, the greatest gift you have in business is a launch and the momentum that you can create when you're launching. This will not be the same opportunity 10 years from now in terms of launching. Wow. It will have been launched. Do not waste your launch. So I want you to get so crystal clear with you, with yourself of why you must, why you will, what's going to get in your way and how you're going to 
punch that in the face, you're gonna, you're gonna strengthen your bravery muscle. Some of you, your bravery muscle is atrophied. You've got to strengthen it. I am terrified at the end of my life thinking, I just, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go for it. I don't think I went for it. I'm terrified of it. Seven months ago, Nate, no, nine months ago, right before I heard of Live Good, I had quit the industry. Some of you know this question, this, this story, sorry. And when I quit the industry, I quit, I had to quit hope. And I will tell you what, I tried on not having hope for about 48 hours and it was devastating. I mean, I literally was like, I guess it's not for me. I guess, I guess I don't get to go to Bali and Fiji and I don't get to send my kids to the college they want. And I gave it a good run and I guess it's not going to work because network marketing didn't work. And I guess I have to be okay with it. And I guess I'm not supposed to dream. And I, okay, God, if this is what you want, like I will be your faithful servant. I will do what you're telling me to do. I will go back to private practice and I will heal people and I will do that, but I will not ever have financial freedom. I guess that's what you want for me. And I, I tried to make that fit and it was like clothing that just was, did not fit right. Have you ever noticed there are no struggle stories here in Live Good? I want to say that with love because I know it's not easy to do brave things and to do things that are scary. And I know that you don't get yeses all the time, but in past companies, the story was, let's put the person up on stage who's been there seven years, who struggled for seven years and finally made it. And you're like, yes. You're like, wait, there's no struggle stories here. There are no barriers here. And you might think I'm naive to say that. And you might think that I don't really get it. I got to platinum in 90 days because I have more no's than people most of you have even talked to. And I'm not saying that to shame anyone. I, the, the, the number of no's, I have a list of them. I don't care. I care about the things I care about. Like, I don't know how... This is your life. This is your life. Like, wake up to your life. Just want that for you. I know you know I want that for you, but um, I want you to want that for you. You can't fail here. Like, you can't get hurt here. You can't ruin friendships here. It just doesn't. You're not doing anything to anybody. You're not asking them to climb a mountain. You're not asking them to fill up their bucket, Tiffany, and there's holes in the bucket, but you're too, you, you, you're not going to tell them there's holes in the bucket. The, live good is nothing but a blessing. And the moment you start thinking it isn't, you've lost your way. Live good is a blessing. Live good is a blessing. Live good is a blessing. That is it. End of story, period. End of sentence. Live good is a blessing. If I am feeling like it's not, that is, and this is not some cultish brainwashing. There is nothing about live good that is not a blessing. That is ridiculous if we do those mental gymnastics. It is a blessing. All we do is save people money. If no one signs up anyone, you've at least saved hundreds of dollars if you're buying the products. Like none of you, whether you've enrolled anyone, none of you have been hurt here. None of you. All right. 
Oh, you are all a blessing to me. Um, thank you, Tim, again for inviting me. That was kind of fun to inner uh, channel my inner rhino, getting a little, little bold with y'all. Oh, I love you guys. Um, we're going to end there because I have a meeting I have to get off to. Otherwise, we would do Q&A. But, oh, there's Desiree. Thank you, everyone. I hope that blessed you. Yes, let's go be channel our inner rhinos. <laughs> channel our inner rhinos, everybody. Okay? Okay? I mean, it's not the prettiest animal. That's for sure. Good Lord. All right. I love you all. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Charge. <laughs>